back is the Chicago Lions. Yes. Right? Showing Matt how to hold which in each hand. I hope they'll be able to see their faces. I, I, I can't recall, were you platinum in the World Tens or were you platinum? <laughs> No score as of yet, but that can change. What do you see so far out of these two teams? Yeah, you can see that the, the Lions are, are playing as an expansive game, trying to move it wide, wide, sort of playing to their structure. Uh, Austin seem to be playing sort of one out at the moment. Rolled and slower since I've known you since like you were 22. So this is, nobody's buying it anymore. <laughs> the conversion is good, however. Ball over. Lions being wise with the ball right now. And this it's all legal. Win the race with number. And there's a kick. Lions takes a good hop. There's curl. That's Chicago. Yeah, I've actually I've been very impressed with number 10 for uh, for Austin so far. Uh, try scorer as well. Uh, sorry, conversion. Got the conversion in the first half. Brendan Curl uh, seems to play it. Read the game very well. He's standing up in center for Austin at the moment. Um, that was a real great break from him, unbelievable offload. Unfortunately, uh, we didn't have the year we wanted this season, but uh, a good one right. to the Giltinis. Sorry, Matty, we are underway. We got Mr. Curl getting us underway for the Austin Huns. Corey Jones there. The Corey Jones again over the ball. Fine, Austin Huns with the ball. Looking to move the ball into the wide channel. Joe Dirt. That's Richard Chestnut, a.k.a. Joe Dirt for this tournament. Look, um, Austin boys will be more used to this temperature. Uh, so they could play into their favor. You would think they would jog this in. Showing his strength there, Brennan. Austin Hunter. Uh, hopefully his radar is dialed in from his last attempt. For a right-footed kicker, this is actually the favoured side to take the kick because you're not kicking across your body. So it's actually a much nicer kick. You can put it outside the right and let the natural swing bring it through. A lot easier said than done, though. Yeah. But that looks pretty good. And That's a beautiful kick. Wow. And there we go. 12-5, Austin take the lead. I just saw a little bit of a man crush glint in your eye looking at him after he made that conversion. Am I reading wrong into that? Yeah, you, you're, re you're reading right into that. That's a beautiful <laughs> kick. Not an easy kick, and he's put it on the, put it on the money. That was a, again, that is, that's one of the more difficult things to do in rugby, right? And people don't get that. Because you guys make it look so easy. But your tackler doesn't roll away. On the way here. Hans with the kick. That's 10 and a good hit coming in here. A great attacking platform for the Hans. And pressure from Ty Nofa at the base of the scrum, but they get it back. Great run by Brendan Curley. Looks like Austin Hans are trying to play a really direct style of rugby. Late, I mean, show and go. Looks like Corey Jones getting a little work done. Nice. There's Anosa. And trying to do on the corner, he can't get there, and that's going to be Brendan Curley dotting it down for the Huns and extending the lead before half. Huns with the ball in. Nice ball back on the inside, electing not to go out to the wing. It's Brendan Curley getting his work done and getting that big paw out there to fend off some ocean side defenders. And also with a good tackle in the midfield. Huns. The dummy, the offload, and just like that, the offload channel's not defended, and another try by the Huns. That's just gorgeous rugby. Double tackle in the middle. You the dummy switch, and the ball back inside. I'd hit the inside defender, the roll in place. Nothing there, it's a two on one on the outside, but does he make it work? Oh! Just oh, what a tackle, what a pass, but he's hit the touch. By his waistband, but what a tackle there. Looked like Brendan Curley. Received, right? 
Some shifty moves on the corner, but looks like he's going to get bottled into touch. And that was another great tackle by Curl, bringing him into touch, too. Nice duck and go there. All right, you know a team could score 24 points because you just get that contract for one of these sides, just like the Seattle Seawolves here at home. Quick tap by the Huns. They got to go to work. Nice physical run. Take it to the corner. 14 to 29, Ronan's lead. Get some action in, but the turnover to the Huns, and this is what they need. They need to be Hunnish. Climb that mountain. Physical run. Anyway, the Huns here. Out to the left, steep attacking line. It looks really solid from the Huns. The dummy on the inside, half gap. Wow. Stretched his legs. Can he get the roll over the line? Not there yet. The Huns looking dangerous to pick up on the side, and that's going to get dotted down. Great. Uh, it was just a beautiful line. I mean, they attack from depth and with pace, and that's what the Huns needed to go ahead and have these really strong physical runners going after the Ronin defense, and that's what you get. You get, uh, you get tries like that from running a tack pattern like that. Great job by the Austin Huns. And the conversion is good. Right down Broadway. Uh, right now, we have the Austin Huns and Life West Gladiators. Delulee, you're going to be walking us through this one, Colin. So take it away, my friend. Here we go, Eric kick there, that's a mistake by Life West, letting the ball drop for the Hunts, get the ball back at the Gladiators 22, spin out to the outside, and the Hunts in the hands of Brandon Curley, even numbers two on two, Shamal Schoenmacher. Stable scrum, ball in Stanfield's hands. Stepping back inside into the midfield, supports there. And to get us underway, Brendan Curley, finals week, and you've got all this information flowing. It's like, oh, what was that detail again? It's in sports the same way when you play over and over again in these Absolutely. tournaments. There's a nice run from Austin. Good run from Brendan Curley in the middle of the field. 